Hey guys, Eddie Speed here, founder of Note School. And I started in the business in 1980. Uh, I started in the business, really, my father-in-law helped me get started. And, you know, one of the things that people always ask about is how much do I need to know to get started? And what's that path? Now, let me say this. You have to always make sure that you are clear that you are chasing a relevant business model. So when I started in 1980, at the time, that was 40 years ago, I specifically started out calling on realtors. The reason is, is, is a ton of real estate transactions were closed by realtors that required seller financing. Why? Pretty simple. Conventional mortgage rates were 20%. So seller financing could be written at a lower interest rate, i.e. making it affordable financing for the buyer. So calling on a realtor in that market, in that situation, was a very relevant situation. Now in 1982, I stumbled to the courthouse, Dallas County, Texas, and, and I figured out that you could go in the index books and find an owner finance transaction. And on the back page of that, it had the address of the guy that had made the loan. So I could send the seller of the property, the seller financer, I could send him a letter and say, hey, did you know you could sell your note? As far as I know, I'm the first guy in the whole country to do that. That was in 1982. We've mailed millions of letters since then to people that own a note and we've developed a lot of other strategies. Now why is that important? Well did you know there's about a hundred thousand seller finance notes created every year? And if I measured the number of note flippers trying to go dig those deals out of the woodwork and bring them to the marketplace, it's not even remotely close to the level of competition flipping houses. It is an ant and an elephant. So what I figured out was is for some reason people get it in their mind that you can't flip notes. So let's talk about how this works for a minute. I would reach out to somebody that owner financed a property. It could be a real estate investor it could be just a mom and pop that sold one single property with seller financing. I would gather the information in their note. This is a specific selling cycle. There is a process. It's not just a, it's not one 10 minute conversation, but you gather some information. You're building relationship with them. I'd gather the information. Now let's just say that I looked at it and said, well, I don't know how to price this. I don't know what the market would pay then I can go get a price from a funding source. It could be a, it could be a funding source like us at Colonial Funding Group, or it could be a, a, a bank, or it could be any of the known sources in the market, or it could just be your private investor. But you could find out what you could sell it for before you even priced it. In other words, you've got to mark in your margin. You've got to make sure you're marketing your market margin accurately. So let's just say that I had a $120,000 note. Somebody in the secondary market would pay me $105,000 for it. Now I know I can sell it for $105,000, what do I do? Well, I say, okay, Mr. Note Seller, I'll pay you $95,000. He transfers his note to the funding source and the funding source has marked me in that $10,000 fee. That's pretty much how it works. I've done this literally tens of thousands of times in my career. And, 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 and what I found is, is a very economical way to start in the business. Oh, and there's an advantage. You learn so much. It's, it's on the map training. It's jiu-jitsu on the map. It's not watching YouTube videos, right? It's on the map training of showing you different kind of real estate transactions. And these ideas and these concepts is what led me to now 40 years later having such a wide band 
of things that I understand about various kinds of real estate and market and situations. And so the note flipping not only made me a living, but it built a mindset of creativity that I've now really leveraged over the last many years. So I cannot encourage you enough that if you're looking and considering something to go do in the market, you can go to the most competitive market that I've ever seen in my 40 years in this business, flipping houses, or you can step over here and realize there's 100,000 seller finance notes with not a giant number of people chasing that product. And by the way, what I also want you to know is, is that you're going to learn techniques you're going to learn leveraging techniques so that you're not only going to be in a position to flip notes, but you're going to be able to position every so many deals to own a note yourself. Now, who wouldn't rather be a bank than a landlord? Flipping notes. I got started doing this in 1980. Is it obsolete? Is it out of style? <laughs> Making money is never out of style. There is a great opportunity in this business. I could not encourage you enough that this is something that you really need to investigate and take to a different level. See you later. Hey, for those of you guys that are still watching, hey, remember, like this. YouTube loves for you to like what I'm saying, and I love for you to like it too. And subscribe. Now, a lot of people ask us on a regular basis, what do I do? How do I progress? Well, how do I learn more about what Eddie is talking about? Well, right here in the band, here's some information we'd love to share with you. We've got great articles, great stories, great training of all types that show you how to position yourself in the market and position yourself for the market ahead. We'd love to hear from you. Let's, uh, let's take action. Let's go kill this business that's going to be ahead of us because the opportunity is going to be incredible. See you later.